Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's alleged desire to rejoin the monarchy has mostly been dismissed. However, the Duke appears keen to visit the UK with his family more frequently. Nevertheless, a significant obstacle stands in the way of these otherwise peaceful trips. Although Harry has appealed the London High Court's ruling that denied his request for taxpayer-funded security while in Britain, the couple's tour in Colombia has reignited discussions about the challenges they face in visiting the UK. One notable aspect of their trip was that they received full security. Former royal butler Grant Harold remarked that when he worked with the family, Harry didn't have a large entourage, but he would surely appreciate having that level of protection in Colombia. He noted that security in the UK is more stringent because it is funded by taxpayers, and one of the primary arguments is that they can afford to pay for their own security. In contrast, when they travel to other countries, local police typically coordinate their protection. Recent reports indicate that, despite her supposed disappointment in Harry and Meghan, the late Queen Elizabeth instructed her chief advisor to ensure the couple had adequate security. This revelation comes from a newly unsealed letter written by Her Late Majesty to her private secretary, Sir Edward Young, in early 2020. The letter emphasized the importance of keeping the Duke and Duchess of Sussex safe, given Harry's public profile, his military service, Meghan's independent standing, and the documented threats against their family by extremists. This memo was sent to then Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his entire cabinet. While the Prime Minister technically could have declined the request, royal commands are rarely ignored. However, some analysts doubt whether such an arrangement could be replicated in the future. Harold argued that Harry has never had a significant entourage like his father or grandmother. He believes that the security issue will persist over the long term, potentially reducing their appearances in the UK. Young's letter also acknowledged that while the Queen emphasized the need for continued security for Harry and Meghan, the ultimate decision lay with the Royal and VIP Executive Committee.